Froggy Gets a Doggy by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Remkowitz. It was night. Froggy woke up and looked out the window. The moon, the moon, sang Froggy. It looks like the tail of a happy doggy. Froggy knew what he wanted more than anything in the world, a dog. Froggy, called his mother the next morning. What? Time to get up, dear. We're going to the animal shelter. You know what I've noticed in these froggy books? Is that when his mom or his dad calls his name, the author, Jonathan London, always helps us read it so that it sounds like they're calling. Look, froggy. It's written all in uppercase, so we know it's loud. It's got an exclamation point at the end, so we know that it's said with an excited voice. And they've even put extra letters in there. Instead of just the FR blend, they put an extra R in there. And instead of just one O, they put two. And instead of just one G, they put two. And instead of just one Y, they put two. They want us to stretch that word out longer than it normally is. Froggy! So I can read it with expression, just like Froggy's mom or dad would really call his name. And I also noticed that our sight word what is spelled wrong in here. Let's get close and look at it. There we go. What do you notice about the word what? It's supposed to be W-H-A-T. What? supposed to be four letters. W-H-A-T. Let's take a look at it. W-H-A. Oh, there's an extra A. There's two, another one. Three extra A's and then the T before the question mark. They want us to stretch that out as well. What? So Froggy must stretch that word out when he says it back. Okay. Let's read that page with expression. Froggy, called his mother next morning. What? Time to get up, dear. We're going to the animal shelter. Yippee! Froggy hopped out of the bed and got dressed. Zip, zip, zup, 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 zat. Well, he must get dressed very fast to be making sounds like that. Then he flopped to the kitchen. Flop, flop, flop. I think we'll get a bunny, said Mom. I don't want a bunny, cried Froggy. I want a doggy. But you can't have a dog, dear. Dogs are too messy. I'll clean up after it, said Froggy. And he ate his bowl of cereal and flies, munch, crunch, munch, and he left quite a mess. Polly Lagalina started smacking the table with her spoon, singing, Doggy, doggy. And Froggy joined in. Doggy, doggy. Quiet, said Mom, or no pet at all. At the animal shelter, Froggy went bananas. Here it is again. Froggy, called his mom. What? Stay here, stay near, and don't stick your hand in a cage. In all of the books that we've read about Froggy so far, one of his parents is always giving him advice. Remember, when we were reading Froggy Rides a Bike, his dad kept giving him advice, and he would say, you know, that uh, he would say, what was it that he said? Who can remember? Hmm? Can anybody remember? Oh, I remember what he said. He said, now hop on again and pedal like mad. I won't let go. Remember he kept saying that? And then in Froggy Plays T-Ball, he kept saying the same thing, too. He said, first run to first, second run to second, third run to third, then run home. And he would keep saying it, the same advice, over and over again. In this book, here's his mom giving advice. Stay here, stay near, and don't stick your hand in a cage. Hmm, I wonder if she'll say it again. Maybe that's something that this author does. Maybe it's something that he puts in his books every time. Let's find out. 
Froggy flopped back. Flop, flop, flop. Look at the bunny, said Mom. Isn't she cute? Doggy, doggy, sang Polly, and Froggy joined in. Doggy, doggy. Huh. So you see, this author is doing a really good job of making sure that we read with expression. He's putting extra letters in. He even put a, a little dash or hyphen in between the letters to help us understand that we're supposed to stretch that out a little bit. Quiet, said Mom, or no pet at all. Now what about this darling baby gator, said Mom. No, said Froggy and Polly. Were these mice? Mice are nice. But Froggy ran off to see the dogs. Flop, flop, flop. And he was about to stick his hand in a cage. Oh, I know his mom gave him advice earlier about that. Froggy, called Mom. What? Stay here, stay near, and don't stick your hand in a cage. She did. She said it again. Same advice. The same advice. Only this time, it's all in uppercase. And don't stick your hand in a cage. So we must be supposed to say that in a louder voice because it's all uppercase. It's like she's yelling at him. Let's read it again with expression. Froggy, called Mom. What? Stay here, stay near, and don't stick your hand in a cage. But when Mom got to Froggy, the cutest little doggie in the world had stuck her nose out of the cage and was licking Froggy's hand. Slurp, slurp, slurp. I read that one differently. Do you know why? Because he put all those extra U's in there to make us stretch it. Please, Mom, said Froggy. Now, just look at her eyes. Mom looked, and the little doggie looked back, and her sweet chocolate brown eyes melted Mom's heart. I think I'll just name her Doggy, said Froggy. Doggy, Doggy, sang Polly. When Froggy got home, he couldn't wait to play with Doggy. First, said Mom, you have to put on her new collar and fill her water bowl and show Doggy her bed. I know, said Froggy. Froggy put on Doggy's collar, snap, and filled her water bowl, glug, 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 and fluffed up her bed, poof. Now, said Froggy, I'm going out to play with Doggy. First, said Mom, you have to put on her leash and take her for a walk and teach her how to come and sit and wait. I know, said Froggy. And, said Mom, don't forget to take your pooper scooper with you and clean up after her. So Froggy put on Doggy's leash, snap, and took her for a walk, sniff, sniff, sniff. And when they got back, he tried to teach her to sit up and beg, roll over, and shake hands. Then along came Frogalina. Hi, Froggy, what a cute little doggy. And she's smart, said Froggy. Watch her fetch the stick. Fetch, said Froggy. But Doggy knocked over the badminton net and the bird bath and sprinted into the house. Doggy, called Froggy. Oh, the author did it again, but this time it wasn't with Froggy's name. This time he wanted us to stretch out Doggy's name. Doggy, called Froggy. Arf, said Doggy. Wait, come, fetch the stick. Why did I read fetch the stick louder? Fetch the Stick. It's all uppercase. I was supposed to yell that part. I'm going to do it again because I said it louder, but I didn't really get much louder. Maybe I was supposed to get much louder. Doggy, called Froggy. Arf, said Doggy. Wait, come, fetch the stick. But when Doggy raced back out, she had Mom's underwear instead. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Sit? Frogalina laughed and said, Good doggy. That night, Froggy put Doggy into her bed, but Doggy wanted to sleep with Froggy, and she snored, snuffle, snuffle, wheeze, all night long. But just before the sun rose, Doggy licked Froggy's face, slurp, and scratched at the door. Scritch, scritch, scritch. She had to go out bad. Mom held out a toy shovel and said, Don't forget your pooper scooper, Froggy.
Pooper scooper, squealed Fro Polly, and everybody laughed, even Doggy. Arf, arf! So in this book, Froggy Gets a Doggy, we were focusing on learning to read with expression. Sometimes the author will do special things with the writing in order to make us sure that whoever reads it reads with expression and it makes the book sound so much better. So we're gonna focus on that. But there are some questions that we'll have to think about afterwards too. Don't forget to talk about this book with your mom or dad.